And you know, they say third time's a charm, so let's talk about Tremors 3 Back to Perfection. Now this one, this is... <laughs> This is where they were starting to really go a little much with the effects. Uh, the story is Bert's back in perfection. He's got this new Yahoo who's running fake Grab Boy tour, uh, tours, but then the Grab Boys actually show up. So, you know, oh no, shenanigans. And we get the ass basher mutation, which it flies. It shoots uh, uh, caustic chemicals out of its ass to fly. Glide, actually, but fly. Uh, and I like the, I will say, I like the design of the Ass Blasters, they're cool, they got, they, they evolved, they basically turned the Graboid head into a Shrieker head, but it's still basically kind of the shape of a Graboid head, minus the tendrils. Um, I mean, they're cool, we, we lose some characters in this one, we do, we lose Miguel, that was always sad, I liked Miguel a lot. Um, yeah, but overall, it's it's still fun. It's still enjoyable. I like it. They they realized that after the, during the second one, what this film franchise was supposed to be. Uh, and this one aired on Sci-Fi Television Network. This was not um, this was not even a home to video. This was a Sci-Fi original movie. Ah, uh, and, <laughs> and it's great to see Bert in a position he's not normally in, where it's just like, he has to save his the uh, Laura Graboid away with his car. So he puts the gas and pedals. Just, see the car destroys it. And my oh grizzly big boy, my, uh, my ammo, and then <laughs> a lifetime of pre his how he kills like ass blaster by blowing up the house. Just like a lifetime of preparation, and I wind up a refugee. <laughs> uh, I can't say I, now. That being said, we get the return of Melvin, the little shit stain from the first one, and he's a smarmy little ass in this one too, trying to real estate the whole. The Perfection Nevada area. But overall, I mean, it's fine. It's fun. I enjoy it very much. It's still very humorous. They make a potato gun, as he puts it. A potato gun. It's a potato gun. But we you know flaming spears. <laughs> They're fighting in a broken down trailer. Uh, a trailer park, more or less. They go dumb. Um, now, we see the, actually, uh, the appearance of El Blanco, as they call him. The white graboid, who's albino and sterile, therefore can't create streakers. And is the reason that no one can develop land on, uh, there's no land development on, uh, that, uh, Perfection Nevada. And, uh, the series. And he's, he's trying to weasel his way. I don't understand why he wants Perfection Nevada that much. It's just, it's a canyon desert. Um, so I don't understand why he'd want to really do that. Uh, the new guy we got, I can't remember his name, but, um... Oh, I can't remember even the character's name, but he's the he's the guy who they brought in, the guy who was doing the tours. He's actually pretty likable. I liked him more than I did Grady, more or less, and I certainly liked him more than uh, Jamie Candy in the fifth one. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. So, wow, I didn't realize how dark it actually got. I'm like a glowing image of just... Because I'm wearing all black at the moment, so... Not for the fashion statement, just because that's what I wore. Um, but no, I liked him, and, uh, we see Ch Walter Chang's daughter, who's now running the shop, she's very, uh, business-oriented, oriented, and a little too much into the, uh, not even into the business, she's trying to run a business, but she doesn't, <laughs> then it goes like, yeah, don't you have any fun? I do have fun. I do. It's like, yeah, we get it, you're kind of the, you're kind of the business-obsessed girl, she's like, I'm the modern woman just trying to make a living in this world. We get it, we get it. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't make her a bad person or even a bad character. It's just kind of typecasting. So, um, yeah, there's that. I got to say, though, it's fun to watch the grab boy. The scene where Bert gets eaten, but he's in a barrel so he survives. It's like, almost out of air. Bert, out. And there's like, Bert, Bert, you okay? And there's just dry, cuts a chainsaw, uh, the grab boy through a chainsaw. It's like, what happened? They said he got attacked. Bert just... I would prefer if we keep this little incident to put on sunglasses to ourselves. <laughs> oh, you guys so need to be supervised. <laughs> that was fun. It's, it's fun. It is very fun. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I, can I think of anything wrong? Yeah. Um, the fact that they were go, oh, man. Okay, I do have to touch on this. The Graboid effects. Did they know it looked like a fucking penis? I'm sorry, El Blanco, when they're using the CGI El Blanco, is a giant bl white dick. 
floating around. It just opens up at the tip. Just oh, it's like, what the? You look at him from the front and from the top. He's a giant penis. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Just wow. <laughs> It's like, you really have no shame at the moment, do you? <laughs> no shame whatsoever. No shame allowed. Why? I just, I, anytime I watch it, I'm just like, it's a giant freaking dick. Why are you showing me this? Why? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, besides that, I mean, you got the standard government. Official. That's where that whole, just, uh, you know, the guy, you know, if, uh, you know, Worst case scenario, we move you out of perfection. The government can compensate you for your materials. That's a, that's a given. Eminent domain, and people call me paranoid. I don't I don't, I don't think uh, you're paranoid. I do. I did, but no, no more. <laughs> uh, that that was fun. That was fun. Um, I like the fact that they do play up on the. They continue to play up the fact that Bert really does not like the government at all. <laughs> Uh, but apart from that, I mean, it's a fun time. It's still in the it's still in the camp of the original series. They still used. Actually, I have to think about that. Did they use? I think they did use practical effects for the graboid a little bit. Uh, like when he eats uh, the guy's friend, and the the guy running the uh, fake graboid tours. He eats his friend. They used the practical graboid for that. Um, they did use it for when near the end where he uh, eats the ass blaster. But, sorry, I thought I saw something. Um, apart from that, no, they're using a lot more CGI. for the. This is when they really were starting to get the CGI. Also, the flying ass blaster scenes. We don't see any shriekers except for the beginning, which I'll, I gotta talk about the beginning, too. The beginning is wonderful. <laughs> it's just like, patience, mi amigo. He's, he's basically in um, Argentina. And he's basically just like, uh, I'm using tactics created by a little big one. Uh, uh, a little bigger one. The idea to create a proper kill field. <laughs> Just creates the flash, and then you see the shriekers. <laughs> just the army of them. It's like a patience, me, go. Well, uh, not to worry, because for the for, uh, for the uh, for once, I have the proper tool at hand, and he's got this anti-aircraft turret on this truck. Okay, looking for a little heat. Just massacres these things. Oh my god! <laughs> it's hilarious. It's a, any questions? Yes. Where can I get that thing? <laughs> oh man, I love, I dug it. I dig that anytime I watch that movie. That opening man is beautiful carnage. Uh But yeah, so that's my thoughts on Tremors Three. It's still fun. It's still in the camp. It is does show some of the more obvious faults of the series going forward. But. It's still, still a good time, still enjoyable. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Ghost Me talking about this, because I'm just ahead at this point. Wait, 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 I'm just a floating head. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. There's no movies over you this week besides the Tremors movies, unless something amazing happens in the next couple of days. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.